What's going on, guys? It's 49ers Talk TV coming back with the final mock draft. I believe this is. Let me check on my channel real quick. I'm pretty sure this is like the fifth one I did. Actually, maybe the sixth one. I'm pretty sure I did over five mock drafts. It's been a crazy. Um, there's been a, a crazy amount of uploads that have been mock drafts on my channel. And um, I believe that, yeah, this is my sixth, so mock draft 6.0, this is my final mock draft, I started doing these about a month ago, and then, um, since the draft is now, as I'm uploading this, it'll be Tuesday, the draft is now, oh, a little bit under 48 hours away, um, actually, it's like 50 hours away, if you want to count the actual, you guys get the gist, but it's like 50 hours away, in two days at 8 p.m., um, just a little over 8 p.m., the 49ers will be drafting at the number nine spot. And this is my final prediction. What I think will happen with the 49ers pick. In my case. With all behold. I'm This is just. This is going to be the, just the Niners pick. I'm not doing picks one through ten. That I've been doing. Like the past three of them I did. This is the final one. And to be completely honest. Um, this kind of goes in hand with the Niners. I, Josh Rosen. No I'm not. No the Niners are not selecting him. We do not need a quarterback. We have Jimmy GQ. We don't need him. Um, but what I think will happen, um, I think Josh Rosen will still be available at the ninth pick. I think Baker Mayfield will go before him. I think Josh Allen's going to go. And I also think that, um, that, that Sam Darnold's going to go. I think he'll go to Cleveland. But those three quarterbacks, I think, will go before Josh Rosen. I had Josh Rosen going three to the New York Jets in a couple of my mock drafts, but then I actually kind of see him falling to nine, and this is what I think the Niners will do. I think Bill Belichick would get on the phone and say, hey, we will trade you the 23rd overall pick and the 31st overall pick for Josh Rosen, or for the ninth pick to get to draft Josh Rosen. If I was San Francisco and I was John Lynch, I would say, you know what, you gave us, a, you gave us Jimmy Garoppolo for a second round pick. We don't need a quarterback. You guys need a quarterback because you guys don't know how, how, how long Brady's going to last. Uh, maybe this could be his last season. This could be, this could very likely be his last season. And, you know, you guys need the quarterback. So we'll give you hand-in-hand -hand favor, and we will trade you that. So I think the 49ers will trade down to the 23rd and 31st overall picks. That's two first-round picks. I'm all in for that. I highly doubt it, it's possible, but I don't think that one of at least five of the players, John Lynch, Prague Marate and everybody and Jed York have on their list. I doubt that five of the people that the players that we need on our list is going to be drafted before the 21st pick. And those, I think it'll be Quentin Nelson, Mike, Mike Glinchy. Um, he's a, um, he's, they're, they're both, they're a, Mike McGlinchey a offensive tackle for Notre Dame. Quentin Nelson's the guard. I like Quentin Nelson better than McGlinchey because we don't necessarily need a tackle unless we could use him at the guard position. Uh, Roquan Smith, Tremaine Edmonds, and Derwin James. I highly doubt all five of those players are going to be swiped before the 21st pick if this trade does happen between us and New England. If it does, then um, I think Harold Landry will fit perfect, and I think the Niners go get him at the 23rd overall pick and then maybe draft like a corner or a, another safety. Maybe get um, maybe get safety uh, Justin Reed out of Stanford. You know, we need the safety. That's his brother. That kind of be fucked up to do, though. Um, if you think about it, getting just getting Eric Reed's brother, uh, that'd just be fucked up. Anyways, uh, I don't think that for sure the Niners might do, may do this. Um, but I think this could happen. And I believe that, um, it's, it's the only right thing for the Niners to do. We gave them Jimmy Garoppolo or they gave us Jimmy Garoppolo for a second round pick. He's undefeated in this league. He's given us so much hype going in this league. He has a lot of ESPN analysts dra or, um, praising him to, or for, to, for us to make the playoffs. There's a lot of stuff that can happen with Jimmy Garoppolo and, and then giving us him. He's already went 5-0 and straight. 5-0, and he's been 7-0 and starter in the NFL. He's never lost a game as a starter in the NFL. It's bizarre. Um, and I think that's what the San Francisco 49ers will do. I think we will trade down to... Um, the 23rd and 31st pick, and I think New England is just going to give us their, or their 23rd and 21st pick. I think they go get Josh Rosen, and I think that's what we're looking at. Now, I'm going to do one more scenario. I've only been talking for five minutes about this. 
I'm gonna do one more scenario. The Buffalo Bills need a quarterback. They did not. They didn't. Um, they did not pick up Teddy Bridgewater. They got rid of Tyrod Taylor, traded him to Cleveland. They got AJ McCarron. Do you really think he's gonna be a starter? I, I don't think he is. We haven't really seen him play in this NFL league yet. Who knows how he's gonna do? Everything could turn out right for him. But this is what I think will happen. The Buffalo Bills hold the 11th pick in the, or I think the 12th pick in 2018 NFL draft. Let me, I'm pretty sure they hold the 12th pick in the NFL draft. Um, let me check here, man. Um, yeah, Buffalo holds the 12th pick in the NFL draft. Now, they do need linebackers, and if they don't trade up with this, um, I could see them drafting Tremaine Edmonds if we take Roquan or we take Derwin. I like Tremaine Edmonds and Roquan the same. I think they're both absolutely outstanding players, and I'd be happy with either one. I just hope we draft one of them. Preferably, Tremaine, in my opinion. I like Tremaine. I like his height better. Um, I like his versatility better. Roquan's also versatile, versatile, but I don't know. I like how... I like how Tremaine can do can do pass rusher can do pass rushing, and we need a pass rusher. But this is one more scenario. I think the Buffalo Bills will trade up to nine because they need a quarterback, and I think they trade up to nine. I think um, in this case Josh Allen is available. I think um, well, I don't think he'll be available, but in this case, I'm gonna say either Josh Rosen or um, Allen's available at the ninth pick. And I think Buffalo is all on this, and I think they call John Lynch, and they say, hey, right now we need that we need a quarterback, and we want to try to get Allen or Rosen since they're still available and at the ninth pick. We want to trade you a second-round NFL draft pick for this 2018 draft pick, and we want to give you our 12th pick to move up three spots at the ninth pick. We will also throw in Kelvin Benjamin. If the Buffalo Bills offer that deal, Niners need to hop on it. Um... Kelvin Benjamin's a big receiver. We need he's a red zone threat. He can win one-on-one -on -one battles. He's gonna be perfect for Jimmy Garoppolo's um and Shanahan's offense. And I think without no doubt that at the eleventh pick, Miami needs a quarterback. They're not gonna draft a linebacker. And then at twelve, we move back two spots, get more picks, and get Kelvin Benjamin in return. And we still getting Roquan or Jermaine that hopefully we do get. So in this case, Buffalo gives us their twelfth pick to move up three spots. Because Miami is more likely going to take a quarterback at 11. And depending on what Baker Mayfield goes and all the other quarterbacks go, they could draft the only quarterback available that Buffalo wants. So I think Buffalo trades up with this at the ninth pick. They give us Kelvin Benjamin a second-round pick and their 12th pick in return for our ninth pick. And then they draft Rosen or Allen or whichever is available or whomever is available. And I think we move back to 12 comfortably. comfortably I can't say that word. I think we move back to 12 in a very comfortable spot, uh, in a comfortable position, and I think we, we hop on Tremaine Evans and Roquan Smith, considering maybe one of them's taken because Oakland's probably going to draft Roquan or Tremaine, but I think whichever one doesn't get taken or taken, I think Niners hop all over. So that's another scenario. Buffalo trades up three spots, gives us a second-round pick, third 12th pick, and Kelvin Benjamin. That's a perfect deal. We need a receiver, um, and... Uh, we don't necessarily need a receiver, but we could use a red zone threat receiver. We don't have a big, tall red zone threat receiver. And I think Niners hop all over this and then draft a linebacker what we need at 12 with getting Kelvin Benjamin and another second-round pick of, um, in return. So those are two possible things I think will more than likely happen in this draft. I don't foresee Niners holding on to this ninth pick. I think there's too many teams below San Francisco that need a quarterback, and I honestly think we trade down preferably – I like the Bills pick, which are uh, giving us Kelvin Benjamin. But at the same time, two first-rounders if New England trades up. So who knows what will happen, but that's just what I think as of right now. And um, if this is, if one of these teams want to do that, so be it. I'm all for it. I think that the Niners don't really necessarily need a quarterback. I think all the quarterbacks and all the teams want the quarterbacks. Um, to, all teams want to trade up to try to get one of these four quarterbacks, one of these five quarterbacks, including Lamar Jackson. We'll see what happens, but if, if Buffalo or New England gives us this deal, I'm all for it. I say Niners trade back because we do not need a quarterback, and they do need a quarterback. And I think that the five, like I said, the five of the, or uh, out of the five players that the Niners need, if I don't think they'll go if we trade down. So I don't think it's going to hurt us, but 
We'll see what happens on draft night. Other than that, that's two scenarios that I think will more than likely happen for this final round or this final mock draft. Other than that, um, that's two of the scenarios. If I had to do a three, I think we draft Roquan Smith. I think that fits our scheme better than Tremaine. I don't think we need a safety. I think Kwaski and or Qu Jaquiski Tart and Adrian Colbert. I know Adrian Colbert starting free safety. John Lynch said out a statement today, and I know that Jaquiski is. I don't think we're going to resign Eric Reed. I think Jaquiski is the perfect fit for strong safety. He's a hard hitter. He's versatile. So I think we draft Roquan. I think we need a linebacker like him. I think the Niners want to hop all over him. I th I think he's the better player out of the two, and I think Roquan goes to number nine if we do not trade down. Uh, either to the 23rd and 31st or the um, the 12th pick in case of a Buffalo or New England trade. So we'll see what happens. That's just three scenarios that I think could happen. It's very like likable if happened since you don't know how long Tom Brady's going to play. They need a quarterback. And you don't know if, hell, if A.J. McCarron's going to be your, your franchise quarterback. So for Buffalo, well, we'll see what happens. Other than that, um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to make a draft reaction video. On Thursday, so be prepared for that. I'm just gonna make like a live. I'm gonna start the video right before the ninth pick is in, and um, I'm just gonna talk up for a few minutes and then see the Niners draft. So we'll see what happens. But uh, other than that, um, go Niners.